everyone welcome back to my channel so I'm back in my interview app if you can't tell and right now I'm about to get ready for my medical school interview so I'm gonna start off and putting on some lip balm I'm just gonna start off with a calming primer so I wanted to chat to you guys a little bit as I was getting ready because I think with the situation in the world currently there is just a lot of mass panic and unease and it's really scary being in this situation and I'm sure all of our lives have been disrupted to some degree for instance it's very unfortunate but my interview this weekend basically had to be moved online to a virtual setting so i'm having a video interview instead of an in-person interview now i'm going in with a cc cream by it cosmetics so in terms of having a video interview there are obviously like pros and cons to it one of my main worries is that it's not like it's not going to be like the MMI that everyone was expecting it to be because obviously we won't be able to have an opportunity to go to all of the different kind of stations and we won't be able to meet all of the faculty. I was really looking forward to going to this campus and I have planned like a road trip, I booked accommodations. So having this interview be canceled was also kind of a financial hit. But I mean, there are so many people from outside of the province and the country who had, you know, booked flights and hotels and it would have been a way greater impact for them as well. So instead of the typical MMI interview, we're just having an interview with three to four adjudicators and it's going to be 30 to 45 minutes. So it seems like it's going to be more like a typical kind of traditional interview. I want to emphasize that I really support the various institutions that have taken these measures and I recognize that they're doing the best that they can. I do want to emphasize that because I think it's very important that we respect these measures and that we also do our own part um, in helping to prevent the spread. But that doesn't mean that these measures don't have an impact on us as students as well. I know that another set of interviews being held um, this weekend with a different medical school were actually fully canceled. And that's really unfortunate because basically these applicants don't get any opportunity to interview. And it's very confusing right now because I'm not sure if that means all interview scores are just going to be completely scrapped and applicants are just going to be assessed based on their pre-interview scores or whether some applicants who did do the interview will also be assessed with their interview scores. Either way, no matter what step is being taken, there's going to be some unfairness. I think it'll be impossible in this situation to be able to assess everyone fairly and in the same way. So that's very unfortunate and it's putting a lot of pressure on everyone I know, including myself. So there's a lot of uncertainty just about the whole thing right now. So aside from my interview being canceled and moved online, um, my university also has canceled classes temporarily. So all my classes are being moved online, which honestly, that's kind of not a big issue for me. I basically will just stay home and write papers and process my lab data. But again, it's a big disruption to a lot of people. So I'm interested to hear what you guys think about kind of how society is reacting to COVID-19 because obviously drastic measures are being taken and I think a lot of it is very necessary but something that really stands out to me about what this disease has shown us is how the existing disparities between different populations really have very drastic impacts in such critical times. I went to the grocery store a few days ago and I wasn't necessarily in a rush to like pick up a lot of things but I just remember seeing like huge huge lineups of people just stockpiling non-perishable food items and paper towels and Kleenex and it was absolutely insane but something that I guess just really stood out to me was that there are so many people who don't have the financial capability to go ahead and stockpile so much food um, because they have to worry about rent, they have to worry about other necessities. Luckily, I live in Canada, but I think the cases in America really highlight how access to healthcare should be a human right. Someone in the comments had previously asked me how I was feeling about the whole situation, and honestly, I just, 
I just personally feel upset that there are so many people who are not able to protect themselves to the same measure and they inherently are at a higher risk just because of their social background, their cultural background, and those existing barriers and obstacles to their ability to achieve the same level of healthcare that a lot of us take for granted. At the same time, seeing how all of the countries are trying to coordinate efforts to find vaccine and the collaboration of society as a whole is something I think is very um, admirable and very inspirational. So I think a silver lining of this kind of pandemic is that it has shown us a lot of the areas that we still need to work on, how our healthcare system can be improved to handle these critical situations. And I think it also shows that there are a lot of steps we need to take in addressing a lot of the underlying social issues it really emphasizes that these are people we need to care about and that they need our help so i just hope that following kind of the craze of this pandemic when things have kind of stabilized we'll be able to take measures to address these underlying issues those are my two cents on the situation i personally feel like the best thing that we can do is to stay informed and knowledgeable about this disease but not to be overly rational and not to give in to mass panic do our best to think of and try to support others so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to link some um, sites down below where you can kind of follow along on science updates on the development of the vaccine and more legitimate updates about what this virus is how transmission is and the actual risks i just think it's very important that we're staying informed about the situation without irrationally panicking i honestly can never tell if this thing even makes a difference but i just put it on anyway i just wanted to provide a little update on that because it is a situation that is affecting everyone um but as for me myself i am going to be doing my virtual medical school interview in about 50 minutes so i'm going to get the software for that set up and everything um i think i'm just gonna like sit here since all my classes are also being moved online most of kind of what is due now is basically papers i guess that's kind of nice because i can just stay home and write papers writing papers is something i actually really enjoy doing but that's kind of the focus of the next few weeks i was hoping to get started on some of that this morning but instead i decided to focus on analyzing my data for the lab so i spent about four hours doing data analysis and i haven't even gotten to the analysis part like i've just been converting the actual recording into data files so i will hopefully be able to start analyzing the data this week but yeah i'll i'll be vlogging more throughout the week to kind of show you guys what i'm up to and how i'm staying productive at home since that is most likely where i am going to be working <laughs> so i think that is about it for my very minimal makeup routine i'm just gonna put on some lipstick I only wear like one lipstick shade because I don't know, I'm just boring. Okay, I am gonna go set up for my interview now. Following this kind of discussion, update about very heavy topics, please let me know how you're doing. I hope you are taking care of yourself. Let me know if your guys' classes are also being moved online. How are you feeling about this whole situation? I would love to know and talk to you guys more in the comments down below. Let's have a chat if you want. I'm gonna go clean my room a little bit more and I will talk to you guys after my interview. It is officially five minutes until my interview. So, fingers crossed and see you on the other side. Few moments later. All right, okay. We just did it, okay. My hands are so cold, Oh, So I just finished the online interview. It literally took 25 minutes, which compared to my last in-person interview, which lasted five hours, is a little discomforting, not gonna lie. Try my best. I was definitely feeling more jittery, partly because I was so cold. But yeah, you know what? That's done. I'm very happy. I try my best. You know, I try to be myself and be authentic in my answers. It was a lot harder over a virtual interview because I couldn't see someone face to face. And I honestly need body cues. Like, I hate just going on and on in my answer without any sort of input from the person I'm speaking to. So I think that was the biggest challenge. But... 
we're done. I'm very happy about this. I changed into a warmer sweater because I was so cold. And I think right now I'm actually going to head to the library really quick to return a few books. These are the books that I'm returning. Um, and I'm very excited to pick up some new books as well. Filming a what I've read recently video very soon. Apparently the libraries are still open, so I'm counting on that. Hello, so I just got back from the library and I thought I would quickly show you what I got. I picked up two books while I was at the library and basically I've been reading a lot of pretty, I would say like intellectual books. They made me think very deeply and very critically about life and I love books like that, but I like to balance my reading habits. I wanted books that were more lighthearted, maybe some catty or drama involved. I picked up two books that I feel like will help me achieve those goals. So the first book that I picked up is Sons and Daughters of Ease and Plenty. It is set in 1976. A rich family is summering on the coast of New England, but apparently there's no more money in the estate. So I'm guessing this wealthy family is gonna have to come to terms with it. I bet there's gonna be a lot of drama and tension in their familial dynamics. I think that's gonna be really interesting to read. This seems like it will be a really great beach read. It's snowing here, <laughs> but I'm gonna enjoy it anyway. <laughs> and then the second book that I got is The Whisper Network by Chandler Baker. I realized that this was a Reese's Book Club pick, which is pretty awesome. I read a few books that have been featured on Reese Witherspoon's book club list and I've quite enjoyed all of them. So I am hoping to like this as well. I didn't really read the summary too deeply, but it seems that it, is, it centers around a female friendship. And these friends have supported each other through some major milestones such as marriages, divorce, motherhood, and office politics. They have their secrets. They have each other's backs. They have all done something they regret. Ooh, this does sound like it is full of drama. Lies will be uncovered, secrets will be exposed, and not everyone will survive. What? Whispers only carry so far. I'm really intrigued to see how this goes from whispers and gossip in an office setting, I'm assuming, to people not surviving, like what? So yeah, I think this is also gonna be a very fun read. Super pumped to read these. I feel like after spending the whole morning doing um, data analysis and lab stuff and then doing my interview, I feel like I deserve a break. It's 4 p.m. The work day is basically finished anyway, so maybe I'll just take a chill for the rest of the day, do some more reading. That would be pretty great in my opinion. Hope you enjoy this little book haul segment. Let me know what you guys are reading down below because I need more book recommendations. All right, I'm gonna drive now. See you at home. What up everyone? So I am back home now just hanging out with my siblings and not my friends because of social distancing, which is honestly really disappointing. I would much rather be hanging out with my friends rather than my brother Sam. But that's kind of besides the point. I just wanted to quickly check in and say thank you so much for watching today's video. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, bye, bye.